Hey everyone, I'm going to do a quick haul of some candles that I think are pretty wonderful. And I have recently talked to a bunch of friends and my husband who has um, become more sensitive to scents. And I really didn't realize that was real until he talked to me about it. You know, sometimes people at work have ever had like, because we could like burn a candle at our desk at work, said, ah, there's something really bothering me. It makes me feel tight. In some sense, and there's probably more to it than just scents that um, people may be allergic or not allergic to, but um, I don't know, maybe something in the wicks, the paraffin or something, but either way, it doesn't matter. If it really bothers somebody, then I don't want to do it. I certainly don't want to cause a health hazard, but I love candles, and so I thought, okay, is there a way around this, or do I just need to end it with candles? And um, when I talked to my husband about it, he said that it's just when it's really, like, filling the air. And that genu generally happens when you have your candle burning for more than an hour. And it recommends on most candles that you burn it for at least one hour, but no more than two. And that's obviously for, <clears throat> I don't know, maybe hazard reasons and also for the sake of the life of the candle. I don't know. I'm not a candle expert. Maybe you should talk to a candle expert if you want to understand that. But other than that, I have found a couple little things. So I just wanted to share them real quick, and um, that'll be that. So first of all, these candles, um, I'm a huge Yankee Candle fan, but none of these are Yankee Candle. Um, also, my number one favorite candle of all time is the Colonial Pumpkin Pie Candle, and that is my absolute fave. I can, even though that's kind of a fall smell, I can do that all year long. The other one is Cider Lane by... Um, Bath and Body Works, or that I get it at Bath and Body Works, um, but anyway, and these are all from Bath and Body Works, so I'm fits to share, but I do like candles from all over the place, so anyway, one way to battle the problem of fumes that bother other people is to have a smaller candle, it's not as scented, and obviously you probably wouldn't burn it as long, and so um, this is just a mini candle, and this particular one is called Beach Cabana, and um, I'm not going to sit here and read to you all the scents, the tones. There's Brie. As we know in all of the videos, she's always going to make her little debut. Anyway, she there's a, I don't know, for those of you who don't watch me all the time, um, not that everybody would watch me all the time. Anyway, Brie is in every single video because as long as I'm in my office sitting at my desk, this is my office and sitting at my desk, um, she's always wanting to play ball, and if I don't play ball, she gets very upset. So, my foot, if you notice me kind of maneuvering and moving, it's because I'm kicking the ball. It's that or we're going to have barking the whole way. And sometimes she barks anyway. So, um, there's going to be all kinds of scents that are described on the bottom. By the way, they always are. It will tell you the notes and all that, and you can read that if you want to. I'm going to tell you my opinion of what this smells like. Okay. Delish. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. Beach Cabana. Get it? Get it in the small size. See, this is, I always put things next to my face so you can kind of see how small. This smells beyond the beach. This is more than just a, you know, coconutty, suntan lotion smelling candle. This is elegant. It is like a fancy resort or something. I absolutely love this. This is my favorite summertime candle. I know, that's a strong statement. There's Brie. Um, Beach Cabana. Okay, and you can get it at Bath and Body Works. And no, I'm not ever sponsored. If I ever get to a point that I'm sponsored, I'll say, hey, this is a sponsored video. But that doesn't mean it isn't a good product because I wouldn't bother if it wasn't a good product. <clears throat> okay. Okay, now this is, this is Tiki Beach. And it very much is the typical, if you will, beach smell, but it's really um, quite fragrant and, and I don't know, it is kind of unique in that it has that kind of coconutty smell, but it has a overtone of pineapple. So this is a yummy, yummy smell. I also like anything that has a starfish on it. Long story short, I have a thing for starfish, but anyway... <clears throat> It has to do with the sex trafficking, human trafficking, modern slavery story. And y'all may have heard before, uh, it just it's so vast. That whole problem is so vast. 
I know in, uh, I live in Georgia, and that 300,000 new sl uh, sex slaves come through Georgia a month. A month. Y'all, we got to stop this. So I always use that, you know, and you just feel like, oh my gosh, that's so overwhelming number. I mean, can we even make a difference? I mean, can we make a difference? And if it's even one child you can help, you should do it. There's all kinds of organizations you can get involved in. The one I'm involved in, in is called WAR International. It stands for Women at Risk WAR International. But there's Wellspring definitely helps. Um, if you even go to government sites, they are trying to help combat this problem. I was on a conference call the other day with a budget uh, committee with the um, state governments. This was, I guess, the Georgia Actually, I don't remember if it was just state governments or uh, national. It was a conference call of all states. But anyway, and they talked about the budgets that set aside for this problem. Y'all know whenever I do the bunny side, that means we're on a rabbit trail. I don't know how I got here, but just we're going to keep going. Uh, and this is important. So if you listen to me for any other reason, this is a better reason. It's better than candles. So anyway, um, there's all kinds of ways to get involved to help. Obviously, money helps. But more importantly, there's all kinds of ways to volunteer to help. And, um, honestly, when they get people out of these problems, they, you know, get them in safe houses or whatever, and they need a trade, or they can just get desperate and go back to what they knew. You don't want that to happen, so there's different things that you can do to buy things they make. Like, I know with War International, you can buy jewelry that they make, and you're the sole buyer. Um, so it's really important that they deplete their inventory and realize that the products that they make actually matter. So... It gives them a sense of dignity that you're not just giving them a handout. They are actually making a living and they're learning business. So anyway, um, the story behind that that I always tell is a, a mother and a daughter walking on a beach. You may have heard this in another fashion. And a storm came the night before. And so you have a ton of starfish that have washed up on the beach. And this woman turns around and her daughter's gone. I mean, she's she's like, where is my daughter? And her daughter is back about, you know, 20 yards and she's throwing the starfish back into the ocean. And her mother runs back and says, honey, what are you doing? She goes, I'm, I'm trying to save them. And she goes, well, honey, they're just starfish. It doesn't, I mean, there's millions of them on the beach. This, this doesn't matter. And the little girl holds up the starfish and she says, it matters to this one. And she throws it back in. And if you can even help one person in your lifetime get out of slavery sex slavery, modern slavery, sometimes it's trade slavery where they are paying them crap, which is why the whole illegal aliens thing is a problem. The reason that that's working is because we're taking advantage of them by charging a below minimum wage or even worse um, wage, and you're not paying Americans to for the good wage that they would do the job. So, gosh, it's a big problem. I'm not going to solve it right here in a candle video. But I just want to tell you that's why I love the sign of the starfish because it reminds me of the story of that even one matters. So if you take nothing else away from this, take that away. Okay, so the third video, I mean the third video, third candle is this um, Villa Bergamot. Or Bergamot. I don't know how you pronounce this. Villa Bergamot. I have a funny feeling that's not the way you pronounce this. It. probably Bergamot. I that too silent. But anyway, this is the most elegant smell. It's so light. It's kind of like a men's cologne, but it's lighter. So I don't know. I don't know how to describe it, but I would say this is definitely one of my all-time faves. And I actually did have this in the large um, triple wick, but the triple wicks give off so much scent at a time. It really did bother my husband. But of all of the ones, this one bothered him the least because it's so light. But I've switched to these little mini candles, and I just burn them here in my office for about an hour, and usually when he's not home yet, so that it can dissipate a bit before he gets here, because he's certainly more important than a candle. All right, and then this one, which I have burning in the background um, lately, this is the Rainforest Sugar Cane. How about that? Can you see that? How do I describe this? Oh, it's so nice. All of these are very different, and yet they're so nice and kind of hard to explain. But it's, again, very fresh, scented, like it just rained, with a bit of sweet. Yeah, that's how I describe it. Okay, and then I've got this present. This is a thank you candle, which, of course, we all know those are wonderful candles. 
the very nice candles. They're usually somewhere between $26 and $30. And then this one, I even got the matching plate and lampshade. They're ceramic. And because, as you know, my theme in here is Paris, because that's where I went on my honeymoon. Um, and it's kind of like a, a beige and black theme. This was, like, perfect. And the way that this particular candle smells, it just smells like candy. And I absolutely love this. This was a gift from my boss's daughter. I thought that was so sweet for Admin Day because I'm an administrator by a living. And um, this is called Summer Scoop. I don't know if this is going to be limited edition, but can I tell you guys, go get this candle if you like sweet smells. This smells like a true, it's supposed to smell like, obviously, ice cream, but it's more than ice cream. It's got a bit of French vanilla or vanilla in it, but there's this very sweet undertone. The reason that um, her daughter picked it out for me is because um, her mom told her that, well, you know, she loves pink, and this is a very pink candle, and it's that kind of candy smell, and I absolutely love it. This is quite um, odorous, though, so it's very scented and very dense, so I try to only do this when I know my husband's not going to be home. Um, because if he's at band practice, then I know it'll be a few hours before he's back. So I may burn it for an hour, hour and a half, and then, you know, cover it over and put it out. Another gift that I got was one of these, which is a cover. Let me show you how this works. You probably have seen this before, but just if you haven't. Um, <clears throat> Yankee Candle sells these as well. If you don't like the, the lampshade and plate, um, then you can just do this. And it just kind of concentrates the flame and the scent um it also just looks pretty while it's sitting there burning and uh, this one's in pewter as you can see and it's kind of indescript it looks like some leaves and just some curly cues and all that kind of stuff but it's just very very pretty if i didn't want to put it in the other holder so it's very very nice i like it a lot anyway um usually scent um, candles that are um, there go the dogs um, candles that are gifts if you're going to give a gift just be, in case somebody might have like an allergy or reaction or something try to pick the lighter ones um, or um, the ones that are not so um, overwhelming and these few that I showed you the rainforest, sugarcane this tiki beach that sounded wrong, Tiki Beach, um, the Villa Bergamot, and the, especially this on the beach, Cabana. These are all very, very light, and I think that they would be good, and also because they're small, um, and also I think that they carry all kinds of little, you know, holders and things that you can add to it, and then you can also add a little hand sanitizer, and it makes a really nice little gift. Put it all in a little bag, and it's a really great item for a gift. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.